Let's talk about what groundwater is and what the water table is. So groundwater is any water stored below the Earth's surface. And so if I were to, here's my surface. These are supposed to be little plants denoting that. Oftentimes they'll just put little V's like that. Um, and there's going to be, let's say, some water up in here, and then there's going to be a bunch of water down here. Um, so all of this water that infiltrated down as rain or as part of a river system um, entered the ground and percolated down, that's all groundwater. So um, there's tons of water below the surface. Some we can get to, some we can't. Um, and that's what groundwater is. Now, the water table, I've drawn this line here. And so here's the exciting part. This is the water table. And this line is going to sa separate what's called the unsaturated zone from the saturated zone. All right. So unsaturated zone is exactly what it sounds like. It's not saturated, meaning there's still some air left over. So if I were to draw a picture of what this looks like, let's say this is all sand. I would have my sand grains, and I'm gonna leave big spaces in between just um, to make it easier to see. So I would have sand here. And then I would also have some water in there, these little dots of water that are making their way down, right? Because they would be moving down due to gravity downward. So I've got some water. And then the rest of that is just air. So we've got our air here. So sand, water, and air. Now below the water table, it's what's called saturated. So it's just what it sounds like. It's saturated with water. So I'd have my sand grains. So I have sand. But then everything in between it is full of water. So I'm not going to be able to color it in, but you can imagine. And of course, these sand grains would be compacted way more together, but you get the idea. So you would just have sand and water down below, no air. And then above the water table, you would have sand, water, and air. Now, as these water droplets make their way down, percolate down, the water table is gonna move up because you're gonna fill that air space down here completely with water. And then if we extract some water out, the water table is going to move down. So groundwater, any water stored below the Earth's surface, and water table is the line that separates where you have unsaturated area, sand, or rock material, water and air from the saturated zone, which is just rock material plus water.